A mediation has been suspended and the federal labor minister says Ottawa will not intervene in the Canada Post labor dispute. CTV's Scott Hurst is following this, this story, joins us live with the latest. Uh, this, is, uh, this is not good news mm -hmm. with the holidays right around the corner. Jamie, the losses are piling up. As you mentioned, Ottawa does not appear interested in stepping into the middle of this at this time. And the two sides remain so far apart that negotiations have broken down with the help of a mediator. And now it appears the two sides are really pointing the finger at each other for causing the gridlock. As Canada Post put it, blaming the union for talks grinding to a halt, while the union responded by calling out Canada Post for what it says are half-truths and outright deception. According to the Labour Minister Stephen McKinnon, he said they alone are responsible to find a solution to the deadlock. And here are some of the sticking points that remain now two weeks into this strike, and this is the reality of where we sit. The union says it wants salaries brought in line with inflation, calling for a fair wage and better working conditions, an increase to paid medical days, better benefits, and to prevent the company from using private contractors. The union wants Canada Post to hire more full-time staff. Canada Post, in the meantime, is looking for more flexibility to its outdated mail-based delivery model to compete in the all-important parcel business. And that means parcel service seven days a week, saying a new delivery model is essential for long-term competitiveness. In the meantime, the losses are piling up. Canada Post has said it has delivered an estimated uh, 10 million fewer parcels since the strike began based on last year's data. And we're coming up now to the all-important holiday shopping season. Jamie, really kicking the high gear tomorrow with Black Friday. And this is a time of year where so many small businesses mm -hmm. across the country mm -hmm. ultimately depend on Canada Post and depend on the shopping season to really make their margins. So there's a lot at stake here, not just at the bargaining table. You're absolutely right. Heard earlier this morning that uh, about 65,000 Shopify uh, businesses are being impacted by this. So this is clearly impacting businesses right across the country. Uh, thank you so much, CTV's Scott Hurst.